Hi, I'm Noah Bombard, and here's what's happening in the ET Newsroom Thursday, May 20th. Well, we've got some breaking news in the newsroom this morning that I actually don't have a lot of information to give you on just yet. Uh, staff writer uh, Bill Kirk actually just went out to Methuen, where police have arrested a man they believe was intending to rob the Sovereign Bank out there at the Loop. Now, we don't have a lot of facts on this at this point, but this seems to be a man that police were, uh, were following who may have been responsible for the robbery of a few other banks recently. So we're out there right now uh, uh, taking a look at that. The police are about to uh, speak to Bill Kirk, and we should have a story up on that uh, hopefully this afternoon. Well, it's been more than two months, and the 300-some workers over at the Shaw's Distribution Center in Methuen are still on strike. We have uh, reporter J.J. Huggins is working on a story for this Sunday's uh, Sunday Eagle Tribune that you may want to check out, taking a look at these people who have been on strike now for more than two months and exactly what they're going through, as well as how Shaw's is dealing with this. Now, every day these guys have been out there uh, at the Shaw's warehouse facility. Uh, there have been a few altercations between some of the drivers who have come in. Uh, Shaw's has hired drivers to replace them. Uh, and uh, when those uh, trucks come on in uh, to the facility, they get... Uh, uh, quite the verbal exchange going between uh, the, the workers who have been replaced and these new drivers that are coming in. Now, I went out there this morning and uh, talked to some of the picketers about uh, how it's been going. Uh, a, a Shaw's truck actually pulled in while we were out there and there were some words exchanged, uh, as well as uh, some vehicles that uh, came and left. You could see uh, you know, folks uh, flipping each other off on both sides. At times you get sensed out here, especially when People start coming in for the, their shifts. You know, things get a little tense on here, but for the most part, we've all been fairly good. So these guys are continuing to hope for some sort of resolution. Now, Shaw's uh, says they've actually put a proposal on the table that would provide uh, pay increases for all of uh, these employees over the next four years, as well as uh, 401k contributions and bonuses. Uh, the strikers say that ultimately, if you look at the plan, they're going to wind up losing money. Uh, one of the things they're, uh, they're uh, uh, taking a close look at is uh, the insurance and uh, how much extra it may cost them uh, this year to pay into the insurance plan. So how long is this strike going to go on for? We really don't know. These guys are continuing to hang in. One of the strikers there told me that uh, people are helping them out uh, with food and, and other things. A lot of these guys have families uh, as they're struggling to get through this. Uh, JJ's story this weekend will take a look at the plight uh, that they're going through as well as uh, the, uh, the strike in general and how Shaw's is dealing with it. So make sure and check out that story and others. We'll have Bill Kirk back in the office shortly uh, who will be updating us and posting a story on whatever it is that's going on in Methuen there. And just a reminder as always, you can find all this and a lot more at eagletribune.com right now.